We're doing the winning warm up and we're focusing on the weaknesses. So as everybody's going, we're determining in the actual physical movement, what they're trying to do and kind of what they're working around. So everybody has a tendency to use the muscle that they want to use, not the muscle they need to use. So the key right now is I'm forcing them to use the muscle they need to, not that they want to. So they feel weak, they don't like doing it, but that's what's gonna make all the difference. So this is a great way if you're an athlete, tactical, any of these types of endeavors, this is how I warm up at least half the time. Your stabilization is super important for setting ladders, controlling rifles, doing all of these things, and you can train it and get better at it doing this. We did this for Ranger Regiment for upwards of about a year and a half, and their performance in shooting and all of their tactics got way better. So this is a great way to do powerlifting type movements and have a tactical transfer. I said squeeze, squeeze back as hard as you can right now. No, back, but keep your arms straight. Now keep your arms straight, squeeze back as hard as you can. Back. Back. Put your elbow back. and shoulders into the floor. So I go like this? Here, go ahead and set this down real quick. All right, so what I'm trying to get you to do is lift my arms real quick. Yeah. That's all I want you to do right here. And you want to keep them pinched back the entire time you're pressing instead of being pressed like collapse forward, okay? So you want to keep that back flat, yeah. continue to press. All right, so here's something right away. Go ahead, keep going. At the top, he needs to stretch that scap out even more. There you go, and then pinch it back. That's the weak spot. So we want to always hit the weak spot. We don't want to avoid it. So when you get to the top of that movement, full range of motion, stretch it out. There you go. If you have to go lighter, who cares? That's not the point. It's all about making that muscle fire. You gotta get that muscle straight. Psychological. You gotta learn that mind muscle connection. That's the trick. You can do a lot of different stuff, but again, it's just all about being different. So I can sit down there and show you 10 different ways to do it, even though it's the same machine. So if you pulled out one and you pulled down one, um, pull to the top of your head. Uh, we'll even do it where we'll just stand there and only do scap retraction. So you don't even bend your elbow. It's all the way up, all the way back, right? Gotcha. It's whatever your weakness is. Gotcha. We want to make that fire. Gotcha. All right, a little slower. Focus on the muscle. Okay, for you, for every set from here on out, even if we have to lighten the weight, three, three tempo, every rep. Three down, three up. Focus on your back. Good. All right, real quick. Yep. Squeeze tighter, straighten your wrists. Okay? Yep. Punch the ceiling. Keep your eyes on one point. That way you're not rolling your head up and down. Good. Keep it smooth. Matt wants to go over RPE. RPE, again, rate of perceived exertion. We did a little bit on board work, but, but the key is, is that's how we focus on all of our weights and how we take our jumps, kind of where we're at. And if you think of it on a percentage system, so a 10 RPE would be 100%. That's all you can possibly physically do. And if you think down from that, it really helps us understand where our jumps are. So if you do a set and let's say you felt like it was a five, you're pretty safe to take whatever jump you might need to take. But if you're getting towards the end and you have a, an eight RP somewhere around there, then all of a sudden you have to start thinking, well, if I can only go to that 90 or 92%, then I've only got 10% left, okay? So if you're benching 200 and it's an eight and you wanna take that jump, 225, that's right on the limit, right? That's over 10%. So that might put you above that nine RP. So, we can focus on that and it helps in our lifting uh, as long as you understand the percentages you're looking at there. But as far as the warm up RPE, so I had a couple guys that I'm sure are strong uh, that the RPE was more than a three or four. Now, why was it more than a three or four? It's GPP, just not conditioned. It had nothing to do with your strength, okay? So 
that's what we need to focus on and that's what we learned from that. Um, another thing that we learned from that was even something that simple that's not taxing in, in really any way, we found a lot of weaknesses already. There's a couple guys in my group that have big scapular mobility issues uh, and that makes me think that all they know how to do is press with their shoulders and, and pecs, right? So um, you can do that for so long and then bad things happen uh, and injuries start to happen. So um, RP of three or four for the warmups, we were close on most people, but we need to work on conditioning, okay? So adding those in over a couple months, everything's gonna get solid um, and worked out. But beyond that, we've identified some weaknesses that we can fix.